I wonder how is a country able to recognize its adversary and counterattack if the nuclear-tipped ballistic missile gets fired from the ocean to the sea using a submarine? Example, let's say India fires a nuke into China from a nuclear submarine in the Pacific Ocean. How is China going to figure out who did this? Because the submarine appears from nowhere and after, the, after firing the missile, it dis- disappears into nowhere. Excellent question. Excellent question. So that is the point of having submarines, especially nuclear submarines with long endurance. They can stay stay like six months submerged without ever coming up for air. So they can stay deep under the ocean for months at a time, going around the oceans, and then they can fire a missile from anywhere they want and then quietly disappear. So how will the nation that receives the missile (laughs) know where it came from and who is responsible for the attack? That is the question. That is a very good question. So it's like this. There is a whole version of warfare happening right now. Right now, this very moment that we are not aware of. Submarine warfare. It is a cat and mouse game that's happening as we speak right now. There are fleets of submarines in the Pacific Ocean, in the Atlantic Ocean, in the Antarctic Ocean, in the Northern Ocean, Arctic Ocean, in the Indian Ocean in the Bay of Bengal, in the Sea of Saurashtra, in the Persian Gulf, there are fleets of submarines playing a cat and mouse game right now. American submarines, Russian submarines, Chinese submarines, Indian submarines, maybe one or two Pakistani submarines, they are all shadowing each other. They are all trying to figure out who is going where. And there are other military assets involved in this. Ships also monitor the movements of submarines. Aircraft are also equipped with with technology that can detect magnetic anomalies deep under the ocean, which is the signature of a submarine, right? And so on. So it is the job, it is the professional duty of every Navy to know exactly where the various submarines of its enemies are at any given point in time. And there are entire branches of the Navy dedicated to doing this in a minute by minute basis, right? So you have satellites. Firstly, you have naval satellites that keep a close eye on all the naval ports and assets of your enemy nation. Let's say India wants to know what the Chinese are doing with their submarines. We know more or less where the Chinese submarine bases are. So we keep an eye on these Chinese submarine bases through our satellites, which can do a day and night surveillance. Of course, some of the submarine bases are underground and underwater and all that. So it's it's difficult. But that is the starting point. Then once you know that a, a certain submarine is out, so you need to know where the submarine bases are. You need to know exactly how many submarines your enemy has. What are the classes? What are the uh, ranges? What are the What is the endurance that each submarine has? You need to know this. It's your job to know this. If you don't know it, you're not doing your job. You're failing. Then you need to find ways of tracking the exact location of your enemy submarines on on a minute-by-minute basis. So for that, you have your own submarines that will shadow the enemy submarine. You have your own uh, naval vessels, ships, merchant vessels disguised, uh, naval ships disguised merchant vessels, and so many other things. Then you have various choke points, like the Malacca choke point. The, the Strait of Hormuz, the Strait of Bab al-Mandib, the various 10-degree uh, channel, other, other channels in the Andaman Islands, through which these submarines have to pass. So you can keep an eye over there. So it's a cat and mouse game that's happening every single moment as we speak. There are fleets of submarines of various nations that are shadowing each other and keeping an eye on what the other is doing. There are Chinese submarines that are being shadowed by Indian assets There are American submarines that are being shadowed by Russian assets and it is their job to know exactly what is happening so that when one of them fires a missile, they will know immediately. And if they don't know, they have failed utterly in their duty. So that's how it is. Okay. So that's how, so it is not a foolproof thing. Sometimes you may make a mistake and you will not know where it comes from, but if you are a major power or if you're aspiring to be a superpower, it is your business to be on top of this game, the submarine warfare game. And you should know exactly what is happening at any given point in time vis-a-vis the submarine assets of your enemies. And then you will know who did what.